Oh, you can put stuff in there. I just came out of the shower. My hair is all over the place. Oh, my hair is just... Whatever, it doesn't matter. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. In today's video, we are going to be doing something pretty exciting. I mean, at least it has the potential to be very exciting. If you guys remember last year, I made a video where we took my Shinisaurus crocodilurus, the Chinese crocodile lizards, to my vet. And it was here that Dr. Brown performed ultrasounds on each of now the one. three animals. Okay, we're looking at the first lizard and I think we found some follicles. And this process was used to determine the sex of the animals. And if you want to see that video, you can check it out up above. But what Dr. Brown discovered and graciously shared with you through footage was that I have one male animal and two females. Over the past few months, since the weather's been warming up, I've noticed that my male has been pursuing my females around the enclosure. So much so that I actually intercepted them almost copulating once. It really bugged me because the moment they saw me, they dispersed and I was really bummed that I interrupted what could have been a successful mating. That being said, it's sort of safe to assume that when I'm not around, they've been doing the same thing. Thank you for choosing to use privacy this time. And I figured we should probably get them back to Dr. Brown soon for another ultrasound to see if perhaps any of the females have offspring developing in their bodies. As you know, these animals do not produce eggs. They actually produce offspring directly in their bodies. So what ends up happening is when the female goes through her gestation period, she really distends. Um, if you see some pictures of female Shinisaurus that are about to give birth, they're huge, like balloon animals or something. Yeah, they give birth to live young. It's quite fascinating. Here we have footage of female Shinisaurus giving birth to their live young generously provided by fellow hobbyist Joey Marks. Thank you so much for sharing, Joey. Friends, the idea of this magical event occurring here at the reptile room is just something I can't help but feel so excited about when watching these clips. It would be such a pleasure and an honor to be able to produce these animals. Thank you so much again to Joey for sharing this footage with everyone. Naturally, with a species this rare in the Canadian hobby, it's been my goal to one day successfully reproduce these animals. So this is kind of a step in that direction. Uh, just seeing what's going on in them. Uh, is the one female just a very good eater? Or is there potentially some exciting news to be given? So we're going to try and round them up now. You know how tricky that can be because they are a bit more shy. But I have some nice worms to try to bribe them with that are gut loaded in fact and yeah we'll try and get them into their containers and head off to the vets now okay so we've got some earthworms ready here we go the first animals and this is the female we hope might actually be gravid so let's definitely make sure we catch her have it, but inside this container. There's one Shinisaurus. Okay, I say we try and get the next female. Probably somewhere here. Oh, this is a male here. Well, that was easy. And you see how, like, less invasive that is for the animal when we just catch them in the containers. Uh, they go in on their own wanting the worm. Okay, so I have reason to believe she's somewhere on that side of the enclosure, so try and see. Maybe that is the case. 
Oh, here she is. Wow. Okay. Dang it. That's okay though. She deserves a second one. She's a good girl. And another one if you want it. Got it. Voila, friends. That's how you catch Shinisaurus without grabbing them. All right, so we are now heading to the vets. So I don't like the idea of like catching them an hour early to make sure that I'm on time for the appointment. So sometimes I push it real close. I might have uh, caught that last one and put it in a container very close to when we're supposed to be at the clinic. It's not too long of a drive. I'm honestly just really excited to see if there's any possibility that they're going to produce this year. Okay. So as you know, with the situation at hand in the world, we cannot actually enter. So we have to bring the animals just outside, uh, out front on the table. So we're gonna do that now and then wait patiently. Okay, we'll check it out. I think that all of those little circles on the screen are follicles. So Daniel, if you're able to press this freeze button when I say. Mm -hmm. Right there. Right. So these are all developing follicles. Mm -hmm. We can't see anything inside them. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to see little embryos because I think that's how they develop. That's a lot of eggs. Yeah, we've got... I've got around 10 of them. You can see them going in and out. Mm -hmm. We can definitely say female. And the last time we looked, we were just trying to make sure if we were female. I'm pretty confident about that now. Full of eggs. Not a huge fan of the ultrasound. <laughs> okay, we'll start another one. Some ultrasound gel. And then alcohol. Oh, you can see stuff in there. So that it might actually be developing embryos. You can see different shapes inside it. You can mm -hmm. pause it there. So like something's happening in here. I'm going to that one. You can actually see a separation of the, the tissues, like the outside of the egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A whole bunch again. And these ones are bigger. These are all about one centimeter across. Awesome. Another confirmed female. GI tract. There's only one or two circles and the kind of texture inside is all different. It's not the uniform circles that we saw. And that's the very back of the abdomen of the ceiling. So no eggs in there. Let's see if we can find the testes, but they're pretty tricky. This is all female. Yeah. That might be one. That circle right there, yeah, we'll pause it. So this might be a testy right there, and then that could be the other one. 
kind of near the back and a lot closer to the front of the body than you might imagine. Could just be that those are GI though. Definitely no eggs, which means you've got two females with developing follicles and a male. So I'm hoping those are fertile. Mm. Hey friends, so as always, before the animals go back into the enclosure, uh, we have to clean them off because they have the ultrasound gel on their body. So rinse the female off under some lukewarm water. And I'm just gonna rinse this off. So she's done. Now we have the second female. Now this one is quite beefy. This is the one that is most likely quite gravid. You can already see she's a little bit distended here. She's very plump. So. We'll gently turn the water up for her and try to rinse her off in the container like so. Ho -ho. And lastly, we have this guy. So this is the male and he can be, uh, well, you'll see in a sec. All right, buddy. Are you actually being nice about this? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. You're just chilling on me. I'm not doing anything. It's just a nice little shower. That's all it is. You're good. Just clean your tail off now. Okay, friends. So now we're going to go ahead and put the Shinisaurus back in their vivarium. Take the mail. There we go, buddy. There you are. He's very cautious about what's going on. He's gonna go back. Now we have this female. And then lastly, we have this female who we are crossing our fingers for. She's the animal that uh, appears to be gravid. Oh, you can see though, she's beefy. Very beefy. Oh, is she gonna go down? into the log. She's in one of the core collows and they go into the water. Sorry, don't mind that. We gotta do another water change. If you haven't seen the video, this is how we do them. Pretty exciting stuff going on here with the Shinisaurus. So friends, I myself have just viewed the footage that you saw now. And first and foremost, I'd like to say thank you so much to Dr. Brown and Daniel for filming this incredible footage. I don't think that this is something most people have the opportunity to just witness. And it's such an incredible learning experience. And it's, yeah, it's just so, so nice of you to take the time to actually film that process because it makes things take longer and I really want to say I'm so grateful that you were so kind to provide that footage so that I could share it with the world and give everyone the opportunity to witness and learn from this so thank you thank you thank you guys I am what should I say, like on cloud nine or something? The fact that I even own Shinisaurus Crocodilurus is such a privilege for me and I it's not something I take for granted. My dream has been to reproduce these animals and although we're not there yet, this footage clearly indicates that at least one of my females most likely has developing embryos in her body and the second female at the very least has many developing follicles and I've seen my male pursuing her. Whether she's just less far along or 
isn't actually fertilized yet, I'm not sure, but we have substantial evidence suggesting that the animals are actively reproducing and that they're in the process of growing offspring in their bodies. So I don't know about you, but I'm so happy and I was so excited to share this footage with you all that I actually put another video I was working on for yesterday on pause so I could put this one together and share it first. I also wanna share that what's really cool is Dr. Brown would like to see the Shinisaurus back in a few weeks to do a follow-up ultrasound. What this means is that we may have an opportunity to actually see them further along in the development process if they are in fact fertile embryos developing in the female. So we may get to see different stages of the term and that's so cool. I mean, who knows if we're lucky, Dr. Brown said, maybe we'll even see a heartbeat, which would just be like, wow, it's just be so cool seeing a heartbeat the heartbeat of a neonate Shinisaurus developing in its mother. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's something a little different that frankly speaking, no one gets to see ever. And if you did enjoy the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really does help the video get to and reach a wider audience. I also wanna take a quick moment to thank my patrons because it's through your added support we're able to produce videos like this. Your decision to support the channel every month for as little as $2 really does make a big difference in the grand scheme of things because it makes opportunities like this so much more affordable. Today we're also taking a moment to thank my newest patron on the Patreon platform and that is Christian. Christian, thank you so much for your support and viewers it means the world to me that you'd like to support this channel further through your monthly contributions and yeah I can't wait to get to know you better on that platform all right but bottom line I'm so grateful for everyone's support and viewership you guys are amazing that's the greatest way you can support this channel is just by watching and engaging with the comment section having some conversations together and with that being said, I'd like to offer today's question of the day where I wanna ask you, have you ever had to have your animal go visit the vet? Let me know in the comment section down below and if you're comfortable with sharing, let us all know what it was and hopefully the success story or treatment whatever you want to share about the experience. I really do try to emphasize the importance of herpetological medicine in the trade, that we really do need to have a certified vet that we go to with our animal needs. So yeah, I'm just curious to know what your story is. As always, I'll give you a comment at heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation afterwards. Okay, everybody, with that all being said, I thank you all so much for watching and I can't wait to provide you with more updates along the way as those embryos continue to develop. So I'll leave it at that for today's video. Have an awesome rest of your weekend and I can't wait to see you guys on Tuesday because, well, <laughs> bye guys.